quantum computers really do. If the clamor is to be believed, computers that capitalize on the peculiar behaviors of the atomic realm have the potential to expedite drug discovery, decrypt encryption, expedite financial transaction decision-making, enhance machine learning, create revolutionary materials, and even address climate change. The surprise is that those claims are now beginning to appear significantly more plausible and perhaps even too conservative. Steve Brierley, a computational mathematician, believes that the quantum sweet spot could be more spectacular than anything we can currently conceive if the field is given the necessary time. The short-term hype is somewhat exaggerated, claims Brierley, the founder and CEO of Riverlane, a quantum computing company located in Cambridge, UK. However, the hype that has been generated in the long term is insufficient. Reasonable skepticism. Until now, there has been ample justification for skepticism. The only mathematical proofs that researchers have obtained are that quantum computers will provide significant improvements over current classical computers in the simulation of quantum physics and chemistry, as well as in the disruption of public key cryptosystems that are used to safeguard sensitive communications such as online financial transactions. According to Scott Aronson, a computer scientist at the University of Texas at Austin, all of the other use cases that people discuss are either more marginal, more speculative, or both. Quantum specialists have yet to accomplish anything that is genuinely beneficial that cannot be accomplished using classical computers. The challenge is further exacerbated by the complexity of the hardware construction. The data is stored in quantum binary digits, or qubits, by quantum computers. These digits can be generated using a variety of technologies such as optical traps, superconducting rings, and photons of light. Certain technologies necessitate chilling to near absolute zero, while others operate at room temperature. Hensinger's blueprint is for a vehicle that is the size of a football pitch. However, other versions may be incorporated into automobiles. Researchers are unable to reach a consensus on the appropriate method for evaluating the efficacy of quantum computers. This is the point at which the skepticism regarding quantum computation commences. IBM's Osprey is the largest quantum computer in the world in terms of qubits, with 433. However, a 2022 preprint 2 by researchers at Microsoft Quantum in Redmond, Washington and ETH Zurich in Switzerland suggests that certain quantum chemistry calculations could take a century, even with 2 million qubits. In 2021, scientists Craig Gidney at Google in Santa Barbara, California and Martin Akera at the KTH Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm conducted research that estimated that 20 million qubits would be necessary to break state-of-the-art cryptography in 8 hours. However, these calculations also provide a basis for optimism. Despite the fact that 20 million qubits may appear to be unattainable, it is significantly less than the 1 billion qubits of previous estimates. In addition, Michael Beverland, the initial author of the 2022 preprint 2 and a researcher at Microsoft Quantum, believes that hardware advancements may be able to address certain challenges associated with quantum chemistry calculations. For example, Nicole Holzman, the head of the Applications and Algorithms team at Riverland and her colleagues have demonstrated that quantum algorithms can be significantly enhanced in their ability to calculate the ground state energies of approximately 50 orbital electrons. The duration of these algorithms has been estimated to be more than 1,000 years in the past. However, Holzman and her colleagues discovered that the theoretical runtime could be reduced to a mere few days by making minor adjustments to the routines such as redistributing the algorithmic duties among the various quantum logic gates. This represents a performance increase of approximately five orders of magnitude. We have not yet considered many of these options, Holzman asserts, and they yield varying outcomes. 5. Gexa Quantum Jump Garcia is commencing to capitalize on these advantages at IBM. The potential quantum advantage is not restricted to calculations involving vast arrays of molecules, which is why it is often simple to select. Finding the energies of the ground and excited states of small photoactive molecules is an example of a small-scale but classically intractable computation that could be feasible on a quantum machine. This could enhance lithography techniques for semiconductor manufacturing and revolutionize drum design. Another area of interest to battery researchers is the simulation of the singlet and triplet phases of a single oxygen molecule. In the same vein, Riverlane is reducing the formidable requirements for a practical quantum computer. According to Brierley, drug discovery and materials science applications may necessitate quantum computers that can execute one trillion decoherence-free operations, which is a positive development. That was a million trillion five years ago, he states. Some companies are so optimistic that they are even predicting the development of practical commercial implementations shortly. For instance, Algorithmic, a Helsinki-based startup, asserts that it will be capable of showcasing practical quantum advancements in drug development and discovery within the next five years. 
We are certain of that, asserts Sabrina Menescalco, the co-founder and CEO of Algorithmic and a physicist at the University of Helsinki. In the long term, Maniscalco is merely one of numerous individuals who posit that the initial commercial applications of quantum computation will involve the acceleration or enhancement of molecular reaction control. Ronald DeWolf, a senior researcher at CWI, a research institute for mathematics and computer science in Amsterdam, asserts that chemistry calculations will be the most beneficial in the next five years. Shintaro Sato, the head of the quantum laboratory at Fujitsu Research in Tokyo, explains that this is due to the relatively minimal resource requirements. This would be feasible with quantum computers that have a relatively low number of qubits, he asserts. According to Birkut, quantum computation has a high likelihood of being advantageous shortly for financial applications, including risk management as well as materials science and logistics optimization. Nevertheless, the more speculative, long-term applications such as quantum versions of machine learning are not being overlooked by anyone. Machine learning algorithms accomplish tasks such as image recognition by identifying latent structures and patterns in data. Subsequently, they develop mathematical models that enable the algorithm to identify the same patterns in other data sets. Typically, success necessitates an extensive quantity of training data and a vast number of parameters. However, the vast array of states that quantum particles can assume makes it possible for the routines to require significantly less training data and fewer parameters in quantum versions of machine learning. Jungsung Kim at Duke University in Durham, North Carolina and researchers at the firm IonQ in College Park, Maryland, develop quantum machine learning algorithms that can distinguish between 10 road signs and laboratory tests during exploratory work with South Korean car manufacturer Hyundai. The quantum-based model achieved the same level of accuracy as a classical neural network that utilized 59,000 parameters, utilizing only 60 parameters. We also require significantly fewer training iterations, Kim asserts. To train a model with 59,000 parameters, a minimum of 100,000 training datasets are necessary. Quantum training is highly efficient due to the limited number of parameters. Kim asserts that quantum machine learning is not yet capable of surpassing classical algorithms. However, there is still potential for advancement. Garcia asserts that this period of quantum inferiority presents an opportunity to verify the performance of quantum algorithms and machines in comparison to classical computers, thereby enabling researchers to be certain of the results they will achieve in the future. That is what will instill confidence in us as we begin to surpass the boundaries of what is conventionally feasible. For the majority of applications, this will not occur shortly. Silicon Quantum Computing, a Sydney-based startup, has been collaborating with finance and communications firms and anticipates that it will be many years before it achieves profitability, according to director Michelle Simmons, who is also a physicist at the University of New South Wales in Sydney. Simmons clarifies that this is not an issue. Investors who are patient are associated with silicon quantum computing. Ryerly also asserts that River Lane does the same. People comprehend that this is a long-term endeavor. Hensinger also notes that despite the extensive publicity, it is a slow-moving entity. There will not be a single moment when a rainbow emerges from our laboratory and all issues are resolved, he asserts. Rather, it will be a gradual process of progress driven by the development of new algorithms by clever coders and the emergence of innovative ideas for machines. The primary objective at this time is to establish a workforce that is proficient in quantum technology. Enjoyed the video? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Your support means a lot and helps us bring you more great content. Thanks for watching.